A man of many talents, John Brammel, is hanging up his hat in local government and returning to the ranch and geriatrics. Brammel has spent the last 24 years serving the city of Hurricane and says it's time to focus on his family and businesses. I still have 10 health care companies. I have a theater. I have a uh, two farms and, and a pecan farm and then uh, two ranches. So I'll stay very busy. I have good people that work for me in all of the businesses. Otherwise, you couldn't do all the businesses, but I'm, I'm part owner of a lot of businesses. In the 32 years of residency in Hurricane, Brammel has spent most of them working in government. I served 14 years on the city council and eight years on the, as the mayor and then two years as a planning commissioner. Brammel has likely accomplished more than most during his service. He's most proud of managing transportation projects that will prepare the city for growth over the next 25 years. We got $100 million allocated to the interchange on SR9 and I-15, which has been updated and it solved the traffic problems that we were having. And then also the update on SR7 and SR9 and the interconnection there, as well as finishing the SR7 and, and now we're getting some more monies to improve SR9 like at the um, Quail Lake Quick Stop area. And the businesses he's helped to bring in have created more jobs to the area helping the city to flourish over the years. And we were able to get the Walmart Distribution Center. Um, that was supposed to be 178 new jobs. Now they have over 500 jobs in the Walmart Distribution Center. We got the Lighthouse Company to come out of Idaho and they said, oh, we're going to have 80 to 140 new jobs and now they've expanded to twice that many. Orgo, we competed against 300 cities to, to get Orgo to come to Hurricane and Hurricane Orgo was the second worldwide distribution center they built. Orgo has expanded and what lighthouse has expanded. He also helped break ground on a new hospital. The honor to host the World Ironman Triathlon events, which begin at Sand Hollow Reservoir, also continues. However, he's most proud of preserving outdoor recreation sites like Grandpa's Pond and Sand Mountain. When I got in as mayor, the first thing we did was finish the Grandpa's Pond Park. A 14 acre park which on the DWR website is in the top two parks of the state of Utah where you can go fish and recreate. There's three walking trails around the park. All the mayors and the city councils and the community members who have said hey we want to support recreation in southern Utah. Um, ATV, jeeping, the trail hero program, jeeping, the winter on the rocks program with the jeeps. Back in 1998 through 2000, we had the idea to build a shooting park in, in Hurricane City and, and Washington County. And we got with the BLM and designated 160 acres for that. International competitions come to do western shooting and shooting sports and pistol shooting. And we're happy to host them in Hurricane. Peach Days is another popular event that brings in a lot of people. We were able to have it this year and had a great big turnout, probably 20,000 people, four to 5,000 every day. In the, and I love Peach Days and it's a great part of Hurricane's heritage. Knowing that he's helped pave the way for the future, Brammel's ready to step aside and allow someone else to take over the reins. His advice to his successor, Nanette Billings, is... I've already talked to her and said, um, good luck. And, and when you treat everybody as important, then you'll be a good mayor. A sign on his wall says, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. His plans in the future involve spending more time with his family. One of the reasons not to run for a mayor again is to go visit children and grandchildren. I have, I have six children who are all married and so 12 children with my adopted six and then uh, 22 grandchildren, 11 grandsons and 11 granddaughters. And I love them all and they're a lot of fun and they know Grandpa loves them too. But his biggest plan over the next couple of decades is to work on family history. One of the plans is to do um, genealogy, work on my mom's 
fam familial history. We've done my dad's side all the way back to Adam, and I want to get mom's side all the way back to Adam. So. so if you see John Brammel around, thank him for his years of dedication to Hurricane. He's well-deserving and has served his community well. Thanks, John, and best wishes in the future. Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.